Good morning, guys. Today is Friday. Hey, turn up, turn up, turn up. I remembered right away because um, I have an appointment, which I'm on my way to right now. It's actually not my appointment. It's an appointment for Miko, you guys. Miko's my mom's chihuahua. And I am bringing her to the vet today um, to get her shots and to get some ear drops for her ears because her ears are really dry and scratchy. So I'm in the old whip because Miko sheds like crazy. So uh, yeah, we're on our way there now. Well, I'm on my way to my mom's house to pick Miko up and then we'll be on our way to the vet. Are you ready to go to the doctors, Miko? Say hello to the Tonettes. Say hi, Tonettes. I'm Miko. I'm not as stuck up as Marley. I look at the camera. So there you go. For those guys who've never met her, this is Miko, my mom's chihuahua. She's full bred chihuahua. Not a teacup, as you can see. She's a pretty hefty girl. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Look, she's so short you can't even see her. But my mom doesn't drive, so she's not really used to car rides. Let's see how she does today. You ready to go, Meeks? Are you scared? Are you scared, little mama? We're here, Miko. Come on. Let's go. All right, we're going to the vet. Miko is a runner. I'm telling you guys, she will run away. So you have to hold her. And she doesn't wear a leash. My mom never trained her on a leash, so all she does is run, 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 no matter what. Right, Meeks? You gotta hold on to this one. She's like a little slippery pig. Good morning. Good afternoon. Had a date night last night. It was good. Kind of working today already. I gotta mow the lawn. Just finished watching um, House Hunters International. The latest couple was, they're in Dubai, right? First time in Dubai, they're looking for people, or they're looking for a place. Um, Dubai is in the desert, as we all know. The guy's looking at one place, and he goes on the balcony, and there's like sand on the balcony, and he's like this. One thing I didn't expect was there to be so much sand everywhere. In the desert. Where do they get these people? It's the stuff that they say is mind-boggling i don't know super annoying so that's i think they do that on purpose just to piss me off specifically like oh let's look up mr drew and see what will piss him off this week blah 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 i'll send a guy to dubai and tell him to complain about the sand so i managed to get some work done the boy and i both spent the the morning working and um, I completely forgot I was supposed to go and meet up with Glenna. But luckily, she's running late with a client, so I'm not going to meet up with her until 3. So, here we are to grab something to eat because I can't wait till 3. I'm starving. So we're going to get Subway, eat fresh. I was taking selfies and like looking in the mirror when we were out. And I kept looking like, why does, something's off. Like, what's wrong with my face today? Then I realized I forgot to put on mascara. It just completes your look. Like when you don't put it on, when you have makeup on, it's like something's missing, you know? That's better. Anyways, you guys liked my little impromptu head wrap that I did in the last vlog, so I'm gonna do another one. Um, I think I'm gonna wear my wig so I can look a little bit extra, a little extra special today. So I'm gonna wear it all the way back like see my hairlines here I'm gonna put it right back here this is a way that my locked subscribers can also wear their Tony wig as a half wig so just lay your hair flat back into a bun put a wig, wig cap over it and then place the wig about halfway back and then just take a scarf this is an African head wrap from my website it's the smallest size which is 12 by 43 so it's very narrow and I'm just going to place it around the nape and tie it. Like how freaking easy is that? So you can make a bow just by tucking the ends in like that. Or I'm going to do a knot, I think, today. That's it, girl. See? So many options. So many styling options. Have you ever had one of those days where no matter what you put on, you just feel 
like nothing's working like everything looks a hot mess yeah i felt like that today i changed a million times and i changed wigs a million times but anyways i'm a t-shirt and jeans girl so that's what i finally settled on oh you guys my new t-shirts available from tonydaily.com by the way this is the gabrielle wig i was wearing the tony wig earlier <sighs> i don't know girl it just took me so long to get dressed but anyways i'm about to head out and meet glenna finally all right look who it is guys What's here up? by glenna we just had is that dinner i guess yeah. it was dinner well she didn't eat i didn't like it yeah <laughs> her food was less than stellar yes so we sent it back but right now we're at scarborough town center you guys she's going to jamaica without me yes. Next time. Next so time. jealous. So we're gonna go pick out bikinis and stuff. And we're going into Scarborough Town Center right now. We're at Forever 21. I'm trying on this skirt. It is adorable, you guys. But it's super short, like I can't bend down. I have to wear um, shorts underneath it. My whole bottom out the door. But I think it's so cute. I wish it had pockets. That's the only thing it's missing. There's nothing there. I keep doing this. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tony and the Boys Show. You know, I've um, had a lot of <clears throat> movers move things. You know, you like you buy a TV. Two guys come in and do this. You buy a couch. Two guys come in and put the couch where you want it. You buy a mattress. Two guys bring it in and then move it where you want it, the bedroom, whatever, right? Same thing coming out, you know, it's always two guys. But there's only one guy here moving the mattress. Because the, the other guy here is too busy. <laughs> too busy on the YouTube. Here's the mattress that I have to move. Look at the size of this thing. It's just me. If she goes to go to the gym like once or twice a week or whatever for a couple minutes, she thinks that, you know, I'm, I could lift everything in the world. That's not why I go to the gym. I go to the gym to look good. I don't Guys, go to the gym to get strong. Don't take the camera. Go. Bring the damn mattress don't outside. Me struggling. This thing's made out of You're big and strong. I don't need to help you. I'm old, man. Sometimes you just have to I'm put old. these guys in check, you know what I mean? I'm a lady. So? I don't lift heavy things. Stop being sexist. <laughs> Anyways. The boys bringing the mattress out to the curb. We're buying a new mattress for the guest bedroom. So cute. Chemists can be nice and comfy. So we're tossing the old one. Too. Can you bring the damn thing to the curb? I'm like. Day of the year and I'm doing this. I just took a you guys, we're going back to, remember the store that we purchased that piece of artwork uh, for the guest room at, and we complained about how terrible the customer service is there? We're going back. We're going back. They're having a sale, and you know, can't pass up a sale. Can't pass up the sale, especially when this shit is pretty expensive. Hey, hey at the flea market. So we went to that store, uh, Star Pepler. Uh, are you serious? People are yelling. And, uh, we didn't find anything. Anything. I mean, there's stuff, but it's like, I don't know, nothing really. So, oh, here's music. Oh, yeah. So now we're at the flea market. We're going to see what's here. Don't need any music for the car. It's like we came a little bit too late. It's closed already, 5 o'clock. We got here literally at 10 to 5, so we're not going to be hanging out here too much. As you can see, all the blue. They put up with blue stuff. I guess that tells you that it's closed. Car haul. I purchased this African black facial scrub and it's by Tecadis, T-E-K-A-D-I-S. I purchased a 10 foot charging cable because we needed another one. It was 15 bucks. And I purchased music, some bootleg CDs guys. Hey. So I got... Support your bootleg brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hip hop swag mix, 2015. I got an old school reggae uh, CD because I love old school reggae, which the boy's not really a fan of, but I like it. And more hip hop, so. Okay. I haven't used CDs in so long, you guys. It looks so scratched up. Oh my god, this secondhand CD. How do you do it? Just put it in? Mm. Oh, so smooth. 
DJ Amanda Blaze. Hey. That's right, I'm coming to you with that club heat. This pop style mix. All the hottest new tracks. Hit me up. I'm DJ Amanda Blaze. Let's get Blaze Vita. Blaze Vita. We went grocery shopping and they had this great deal on mangoes, you guys. Five bucks. Look at this whole box of mangoes for five bucks. Oh, I just ripped the receipt. Yeah, usually something like this would cost like, well, eleven, twelve dollars, something like that, maybe even more. Yeah. So well, hopefully they're good. I mean, I love mangoes. Yeah, but it is a lot of mangoes, so we decided to pop by my mom's house and share them with her. You know, I've never had a, I never ate a mango before I met you. Never. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, never. That's what happens when you date a Jamaican. We eat apples. It. Sometimes a pear is apples. Oh man, it's very white. Apple and maybe a pear. Oh my goodness, look who's at mom's house. <laughs> Naya, hi baby. I missed you so much. <laughs> Did you miss me too? Where have you been? You went to school? You been? You're... She has a big full time job, you know. Oh, yeah. Big big school Maybe girl. University and stuff. Oh. <laughs> Did you say hi to Uncle Drew? And there's the sister. It's Raya. Hi, Raya. And Mama Daly. Oh, you're skipping. You know how to skip? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Wow. Who taught you how to skip? Nobody. Nobody. You taught yourself? That's so good. I'm so proud of you. My mom just painted her deck. Can you guys see? Yeah. So, looks she nice. Did herself. She did it by herself. Miko, how do you feel I'm today? Really enjoying it. She can hear it after again. your veterinary visits. Try. 